We've walked with the disciples on the way to Emmaus and have listened to the words of Christ. Now we turn to a time of prayer, united, although we are apart. We pray that the church leaders everywhere will adapt to what is around them, especially during these uncertain times, offering Christ peace and reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that today's gospel story will inspire us to walk together that new road of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that those whose life's journey is nearing completion, that they will soon see God face to face, free from pain and tears. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are on the front lines of this pandemic, especially our healthcare workers and first responders. For all who are unable to stay at home, but must work to provide for their families. May God continue to protect them and keep them in good health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick that are known to us. May Christ visit them with healing power and new hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray our prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. In the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and those we love now and always. Amen. <laughs>